Alright, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network. Alright, y'all see what's going on here. Y'all see the thumbnail. Y'all read the title under the thumbnail. This is dealing with Young Dolph Brother, Marcus Thornton. He confirmed CEO, CEO Daddy-O place. Not only that, that CEO Daddy-O text, Trula paid them 150 k based around the whole Young Dolph situation. You know what I'm saying? As always, let's first pay our respects and say rest in peace to Young Dolph. Condolences to the family. Shout out to the Paper Route Empire and much love to all my folks in Dolph land. Let's get back to the story at hand. So, yeah, man, if y'all paying attention, man, y'all would know that Marcus Thornton, young dog brother, he knows a lot, right? He knows who was following them, who was trailing them from when they was leaving the supposed video shoot or should I say leaving the downtown Memphis area and coming back to Airways. Like, they was paying attention who was on them. That's the reason why if y'all pay attention to the pictures that's out there that got Young Dolph at the gas station, he was looking like somebody was watching, you know what I'm saying? So that's why this video is important because we all know that Young Dolph brother, Marcus Thorne, he's a very intricate, he is a very important piece to this whole chess plate. Like real, for real, real. Like when you had that one night in the back that ain't nobody paying attention to, then you come in and sweep a couple other guys pines out like that's what it's dealing with right now like what i'm saying is marcus thorne he has enough power to sweep the supposed pines under the rug because we know that ain't them you know what i'm saying again what i'm saying is we know that's not straight drop in the photo we know that's not cornelius smith who is it mm, i'm gonna get into that for you for you guys all right so again where in memphis is Marcus Thornton allegedly knows the two guys in the photo who up the blicky on Young Dolph. And where is they tied to CEO Daddy O through Trula? Huh? Because again, that bag coming from up top, man. Because the folks say, again, that pe- that bag was passed down from CEO Daddy O to, to the street guys. You know what I'm saying? Now, check this out, man. Y'all got to understand Young Dolph brother Marcus been around from the beginning like i mean when i say been around i'm speaking marcus thorne been around young dolphin ceo daddy o since the start of pre you know what i'm saying so what a lot of people don't consider or take into account is the ups and downs that goes into building something from the bottom to the top and what i mean by that is young Dolph brother marcus have witnessed multiple disagreements and fisticuffs between Daddy O and Dolph that made him think PRE was going to last when it first started. Because that's how, like, deep they was getting into it. Again, like, it was based on investments where Young Dolph wanted to perform, do shows at. Like, Young Dolph, he knew what he wanted to, like, perform and do shows because Gucci Man and um, Boosie, you know what I'm saying, Pee Wee Longway, they gave him the scoop on Atlanta being a place like the main hub for the rap industry, especially when you starting off. See, this was a time when guys was taking their CDs, you know what I'm saying, and giving it to the DJ, you know what I'm saying, to play in the club, the regular club, or, you know what I'm saying, where the strippers go. You feel what I'm saying? But let's get back to the story. Again, see what another people don't know is Young Dolph and Daddy O will keep each other in the dark dealing with certain business opportunities or investment ideas for PRE. Like the time Young Dolph had a show in Atlanta and CEO Daddy O didn't let Young Dolph know that J Money, the truly artist before his untimely demise, was opening for Young Dolph. They had Young Dolph furious, as you guys can see in the photo right here. Like, look at Young Dolph's face. Because... Daddy O didn't let him know that J Money was opening for him. So he again, it was a shock because he had some other stuff that he wanted to have lined up. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to have like at that time, he wanted to have like uh I wanna I wanna say either like J Fizzle or or 
or I don't even keep keep Glock when even doing nothing in that time like that then. You know what I'm saying? But Young Dolph had other plans and it wasn't including that J Money were open for him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. And the time Young Dolph purchased over 250000 in jewelry in one setting had CEO Daddy O heated with Dolph that he made Young Dolph sign the document about spending and letting Daddy O know about Young Dolph making any major purpose purchases beforehand. Again, check out what I said. See, Daddy O had Young Dolph sign a document that stated to him that he would acknowledge beforehand before he go purchase you know what I'm saying? Anything major. You know what I'm saying? All right? So a couple times, Young Dolph, he reneged, and he and Daddy O really had it out. All right? Marcus Thornton wit witnessed it all as well. All right? So Young Dolph, brother Marcus knew Daddy O had something to do with his brother Dolph getting sent up. But what can he really say or do when dude know where all his folks are? Slash family live at. You know what I'm saying? So this the reason why Marcus Thorne, he just stands in his place. This is another reason why the feds had to move him up out of, you know what I'm saying, of a location that a lot of family and different PRE artists know. Because when of a certain person know where you at, then everybody gonna know where you at. Because we all know word of mouth spreads very fast especially when it's dealing with somebody like young Dolph brother because like i keep saying he's a very special intricate piece part of his whole chest plate man like real talk this chest plate cannot go on this long with them without them like having young Dolph brother marcus feeling some type of weight feeling like no nah, man i can't it's a lot i could say but i don't because i understand that dude know where my folks live at and not only that, he know he could uh he could send a kite a message to some other guys, you know what I'm saying? That's so-called wouldn't show no association to him and to, you know what I'm saying, send my family up. And this what fam don't this what young dog brother don't want to happen. This is the reason why he's playing it smart by not saying too much, not speaking to family, not he ain't even speaking to no PRE artist at this time. You know what I'm saying? Because this is Dealing upon his safety. And again, this is dealing upon the, the justice for Young Dolph. We understand that the only way Young Dolph can get proper justice is if Marcus Thorne is there to take the stand. To say that, yeah, I, rem I seen that guy at this meeting before and he bought him through. You know what I'm saying? Because like we, like we keep telling you guys, straight drop and the rest of these guys, the only reason they got close to Young Dolph was through CEO Daddy O, man. Come on, man. I keep telling y'all, you got guys like CEO Daddy O, ain't no Memphis OG. Hey, let me, let, hey, man, check this out. A lot of folks, a lot of people know that Daddy O was behind putting Young Dolph on when it comes to that, that good green on the business, right? So let's keep it real. That right there, and not only that, he got plugs. You know what I'm saying? So that right there solidifies him as being a Memphis OG. Cause again, he's the one that put he's the one that put the money up for Young Dolph to be in the game, and everybody noticed. Like Young Dolph didn't Young Dolph didn't come at CEO Daddy O with like a hundred stack or 10, 20 stacks. Like, yeah, let me invest in this to rap. When Young Dolph is telling y'all the story about him riding around with CEO Daddy O and them freestyling, that was Young Dolph having to show Daddy O his what he's going to invest in. You know what I'm saying? So, Daddy O will have Young Dolph rap to show, to see if uh, Young Dolph was serious about it. Because he understand that it was one to two times that he tried to put some guys on, but they went all the way with it. So, he would test Young Dolph every day to see, hey, if you really with it, I right, hop in the whip with me, let's ride around. Let's see what you lay. Let's see if you got better. As Young Dolph got better, this is how CO Daddy O show appreciation by investing in Young Dolph more. You know what I'm saying? And not only that, he also, again, like, helped establish the whole paper route through his attorney, through his lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Because Daddy O knows the game. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm basically trying to get to y'all. That's why it was easy for him to convert, uh, to change PRE names. Like, because it's called 
doing business as long as you have the initials you can go in and recreate those initials any way you want under the under the uh, uh document of doing business as all right but as always y'all know what it is y'all know what it's worth let's get this merch subscribe to the pdh network